The Battle of Staliponen, fought between Russian and German armies on August 17, 1914, was the opening battle of World War I on the Eastern Front. The Germans under the command of Hermann von Francois conducted a successful counterattack against four Russian infantry divisions from different infantry corps, which heavily outnumbered them but had poor coordination with each other and created a gap between the 27th Infantry Division and the 40th Infantry Division. It was a minor German success, but did little to upset the Russian timetable. Prelude the German Schlieffen plan was based on defeating France as quickly as possible in the west, which would then permit the Germans to transport their forces eastward to meet the massive Russian army. The Russians were able to field up to ten complete armies compared to Germany's eight, but they were scattered across the country and would take some time to organize and move up. This meant that the Germans had a short window of time where they could fight a defensive battle, holding off what forces the Russians could move forward while they waited for the battles in the West to be decided. Immediately prior to the opening of hostilities, the Eastern Front developed largely according to pre-war planning. Two Russian armies were in the immediate area, Pavel Renenkampf's first army east of the city of Königsberg, and Alexander Samsonov's second army to the south. Renenkampf planned on marching on Königsberg, tying down any German forces in the area, while Samsonov would move northwest to cut off any escape. The Germans were also deployed largely according to everyone's expectations. The German 8th Army was strung out in pockets in front of Renenkampf, but did not have the manpower to completely cover the front of either of the Russian armies. On paper, the situation looked almost hopeless, and the standing orders were to fight a delaying retreat. However, Hermann von Francois, the commander of the 1st Corps of the German 8th Army, was convinced his better trained and equipped forces could halt, and perhaps defeat, a Renenkampf's Russian forces. Most of the 8th Army was organized into a defensive line running south of Gumbinin, about 20 miles west of the Russian border. However, small units were sent forward to garrison towns, railway lines and strong points. They were ordered to retreat on contact with the enemy, joining the main forces at Gumbinin. For the first five days of the war, the only combat was minor skirmishes with Renenkampf's cavalry who were conducting reconnaissance along the border area. The battle. On August 17, a Renenkampf started the invasion of East Prussia, marching the First Army directly westward towards the German lines. Although he faced no resistance, a Renenkampf stopped his advance in a neat line about five miles from the border. Acting without orders, Francois decided to take his forces to Staliponen where one of the Russian divisions was resting. A furious frontal attack broke the Russian division, which fled eastward, losing 3,000 casualties and 5,000 prisoners. Almost the entirety of the Russian 105th Regiment, although the Russian 29th and 25th Divisions achieved some success to the north of Staliponen and captured several captives and guns, they couldn't change the outcome of the battle. When Prituitz learned that Francois had engaged the Russians, he ordered Francois to break off the attack and retreat to the Vistula. Francois, by this time, was too committed to safely disengage, and had no intention of doing so anyway. He contemptuously, and famously, told the adjutant, Report to General Prituitz that General von Francois will withdraw when he has defeated the Russians. After math, while the Russians retreated, Francois pursued them into the evening, but ended his advance when he came under Russian artillery fire. He then reluctantly obeyed Pritvitz's order and withdrew 15 miles to the west, taking up new positions around Gumbinen. His success was infectious, and convinced Pritvitz to be more aggressive in dealing with the Russian forces. This proved to be unwise at the following Battle of Gumbinen two days later.